What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So we just got a little data download on Global last night and in this video I want to quickly talk about what exactly was added to the game for those of you who may be curious. So first things first, we're getting two new waifu cards, this STR Chi Chi and this Tech Bula and both of them will be part of the waifu banner that's dropping in two days. And honestly, they're both fairly decent units. So this Chi Chi gets 80% attack at the start of the turn, and she also gives all Peppy Gals allies key plus two and defense plus 100%. And this Bula, I believe she's a pure support unit, so she gives all allies key plus two, attack plus 30%, and also has a chance to evade all enemies' attacks. And that goes up to 50% depending on how many Peppy Gals you have on the team. So if you're running a pure Peppy Gals category team, then she has a 50% chance to avoid all attacks, which is very good. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> we know that the Broly celebration is right around the corner. And at this point, I'm pretty sure it's almost guaranteed that the Broly celebration with Broly and Gogeta Blue will pretty much be the Christmas celebration. Like, because of the timing of the upcoming Dokkan Fest, which I'll talk about in just a second, it really makes sense for them to make the Broly celebration our Christmas celebration. So, I can't really recommend for anybody to be spending stones on this waifu banner as good as, I mean, honestly, I want these two new cards. I want the Chi Chi, I want the Bulo. I think they'd be a lot of fun to run on the Peppy Gals category team. Um, I just can't recommend anybody to be spending stones on a banner like this. And also keep in mind that the waifu banner, number one, only has waifus. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because a lot of them get very good awakenings in the future. Um, but it also doesn't have any LRs on it. So you can't accidentally pull an unfeatured LR on that banner because there are no LRs on it, right? There are no like LR Gohans or LR Goku and Frieza, so on and so forth only waifus. So at this point, I really, really can't recommend you guys to spend your stones. Of course, they're your stones. You can do whatever you want with them. So if you really, really want the Chi Chi, you really want the Bula, you really want some of those other, you know, waifus, then it's your call. You know, you can go for it. But just, just keep in mind that I'm saying it's not worth it. All right, so we're going to move on from the waifus with two good cards that we're getting on Global right there. Now, get a new LR. New LR. You guys are like, what? I mean, for those of you who aren't really, you know, up to date with the JP stuff, you're like, what is this new LR Goku? Is he summonable? Is he not? No, he's free to play. He's free to play, and he's actually the reward for the category Super Battle Road stages, which does mean that we are officially getting the category Super Battle Road stages on Global. And as you can see from the release date, it says the 6th, so I assume that is when we're getting the stages as well, of course. Don't take my word for it because I'm not 100% sure and they could change things up between now and then, but the fact that we are getting this guy means that very, very soon we are getting the category Super Battle Road stages and for those of you who are a little bit unaware, basically it's the same thing as Super Battle Road that we have now except for category team, so you can only run specific categories to beat those stages and they are going to be harder, but of course category teams in general are stronger than your monotype team, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait to stream it, and you guys should keep an eye out for those those kinds of contents in the near future as well. But moving on, so new Goku. Um, we got two Dokkan Awakenings for number one, the physical Android 17, and the AGL Android 18. Now, prior to this awakening, both of them were pretty awful units. So this guy, when you pulled him, you were like, oh man, that could have been any other SSR, I'd have been probably happier because he is awful. He he was really bad, but with the Awakening, they actually get really good. So now he gets attack and defense plus 70% and changes tech key orbs to physical key orbs and changes STR key orbs to AGL key orbs. So double orb changer and uh, oh, that happens when his HP is 70% or below. Um, oh, actually, I'm not really sure about how his passive works now. Because <laughs> does, he, does he only change one type of orb when his HP is 70% or above and then changes another type of orb? when his HP is 70% or below. Well, either way, either way, he gets a lot better. He gets attack and defense plus 70%, which makes him actually usable now. Um, as far as the Android 18 goes, I'm sure she's very similar. So she gets attack and defense plus 70% and changes physical key spheres to AGL key spheres and changes in key spheres to physical key spheres. In addition, when HP is 70% or below. Okay, so in addition, so both of them, when your HP is 70% or below, um, they change two types of key spheres, but otherwise they are a, you know, they change one type, but they still got that additional attack. 
and defense, which is very good. So both of these units are now usable and we can be a little bit happier about pulling them or I'm sure most of you already have them all duped out. Now we can actually put them on your teams and they can do some work, right? They can actually do some damage and do a little bit of tanking. Now, next thing is probably the most hype, well for some people at least, for this release and it is going to be this guy right here. Of course, it starts like this, and it goes into Indokans, into this guy. And this, of course, is the leader of the future Saga category, um, future Super Saiyan Gohan. So, here's the thing. Um, he is, of course, gonna be the next Dokkan Fest because he is a Dokkan Fest unit, and he gives future Saga category units give plus three, at HP plus 130%, and attack defense plus 170%. And overall, he's a good unit. He's a very, very good tank. He does decent damage, so on and so forth. His category is a little bit, eh, a little bit iffy, but overall a good unit, right? But I'm gonna say this right now. I'm, of course, I'm gonna make another video separately talking about his banner and whether or not I feel like you should summon. But I'm gonna tell you guys right now for those who are watching, I don't think you should summon on this banner. Number one, of course, Broly around the corner, Gogeta around the corner. Those are gonna be much, much more hype. Um, but number two. The Int Goku Black on JP basically made this guy obsolete <laughs> because the new category that he leads, the, the Goku Black leads, it's called um, like Time Traveler or something like that, it has almost the same units and it's a better category. So he was, he basically before he was even released on Global got replaced by another unit, right? So at this point, if you guys really, really want him, I, I guess like sure, go for it, but I don't think it's worth it. His category basically already got replaced on JP, and it's a better category. And um, if you really want him, honestly, I would just say wait for him to come back on another banner and try to pull him as, you know, a secondary featured unit and not the main featured unit. But I do remember that his banner was really good on JP, so I mean, he might have some other units on there like Vegito Blue that you really, really want to go for. So it might be a bit of a tough decision, but at this point, I don't think it's worth it. That's just my opinion, of course. Like I said, like I always say. You guys can do whatever you want with your stones. It's your stones, it's your game, so that's just my recommendation. But yeah, Phys future, um, physical future Gohan is coming as the next Dokkan Fest, and that should be the last Dokkan Fest before Christmas, which as we know, it's gonna be Broly and Gogeta. Hopefully, hopefully. Now, last thing as part of this um, data download was another LR. So we are finally getting this physical, well not physical, AGL. LR Future Trunks, and I'm really excited about this one because Trunks, as you guys may know, is one of my favorite characters, specifically Future Trunks is one of my favorite characters from Dragon Ball Z, so I absolutely love the character, and the card itself is not bad either, he's he's, he's solid, he's solid, I wouldn't say he's on the same tier as like Vegito Blue, but he can still easily break a million, maybe two million damage, depending on how you set up the rotation, but really solid free to play LR for sure. He gets 25,000 attack at the start of turn, key plus 8 in attack, and defense plus 20,000 when facing 2 or more enemies. So when you're facing 2 or more enemies, he basically is almost guaranteed to get his 18 plus key off. And uh, he's, just, he's just a strong unit, he's just a strong unit. He also leads the Future Saga category, just like the um, Future Gohan, but of course a much less, uh, much lower percentage, 70% as opposed to 130, 170%. Overall, Good LR, I'm excited to farm him. He is gonna be a prime battle, which means that you have to get like 777 medals, just like the LR Goku or the LR Frieza and so on and so forth. So it's gonna be a huge grind. It's gonna be a huge grind, but you guys know that I will be doing it all on stream. So maybe you can join me for that grind. We can make it a little bit less painful for everybody, right? So here's what he starts off as. I love that art with the little time machine in the back. And then he uh, becomes a stripper. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, fan service, I guess, for girls. And, uh, or, I mean, if you're into that, you know, you don't have to be a girl, but no judgment, but you know, stripper trunks, there you go. <laughs> and as well as the LR art, which looks freaking fantastic. You guys don't even see the effects right now, of course, because I'm on DBZ space, but it's got some cool effects with the aura around him and everything. So it's dope, it's dope. But there is another free to play LR for, our, LR for us to farm. And these are all the units that were added as part as of the, the um, data download from last night. So if you guys skip to the end of the video for some reason, the too long didn't read or didn't watch version is that we're getting two new waifus, we're getting the category Super Battle Road stages, we're getting a um, Dokkan Fest for future Gohan, as well as the Super Saiyan Trunks LR. And that's pretty much it guys. The next thing that's coming up after this, I think will be 
the um, Go Broly and Gogeta celebration. So, I mean, don't take my word for it. Like I said, I don't know anything, but it just makes sense. It just makes sense. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Of course, I'll get, let you guys know as soon as news of that comes out or drops or there's some leaks that come out. You can expect another video. But for the time being, this is all we know for Global. And I'm pretty happy about it. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys found it interesting and helpful. And as always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And one more thing, I just got Twitter. So head over to my Twitter account, link in the description. My handle is EatLikeGoku and hit your boy up with a follow there. I would really appreciate it. But that's gonna do it for me. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.